All right, in this lesson, I wanted to introduce you to some of the popular keyboard shortcuts within the Jupyter Notebook. Now, as a reminder, all keyboard shortcuts require you to be in command mode, which is the external mode. That's basically where you're operating on operations across the entire notebook. That's in comparison to edit mode, which is whenever you're in a specific cell. So right now we're in this cell in my current notebook, and you can see it's uh, highlighted in green on the exterior, which means that it's currently in edit mode. So the first thing I want to do here is to bring it into command mode by pressing my escape key. You can see when it turns to blue that you're in command mode, and at this point all of your keyboard shortcuts will work. So the first shortcut I want to introduce is simply the H key. That's basically short for help, and that's really a shortcut to get you a list of all of the other shortcuts. So if you click H, you're going to see this box appear on your screen, and you'll have a list of basically all of the commands that are available in a Jupyter Notebook. You certainly don't have to memorize all these. I don't know half of them, but uh, feel free to poke around here and find some that are, that are uh, suitable for you or that help you in your daily workflow. Once you're done here, you can click Close and go back here. And really, the only other shortcuts I want to introduce relate to dealing with cells within the notebook. So whenever you're in command mode, I'm going to go back to that with escape, you can press the X key to cut a cell. And cutting, as you remember, basically preps the cell to be pasted somewhere. But when you think about it, if you cut a cell and you never paste it, it's basically the same thing as deleting it. So if I keep pressing X here, what's actually going to happen is it's going to keep cutting each cell all the way till we reach the very bottom of the worksheet. In command mode, I can also add cells. When I'm in the cell, for example, I'm currently in popular keyboard shortcuts, but in command mode, you can press the B button on the keyboard to insert a cell below. B is short for uh, below. So if I click B once, nope, there we go. Just click it a few times in command mode and you'll see that cells will be created each time. You can in fact hold it and cells will be created automatically below. And predictably, that's uh, to create cells below. To create cells above, all you need to do is be in command mode and press the A key. So A is short for above. That's going to continue adding cells above the current cell that you're in. So it's going to move the notebook up. So again, A to insert above, B to insert below, X to cut, which basically means delete. And this is all valid, of course, for any type of cells, regardless of whether it's a markdown cell or a Python code cell. Here I have a markdown cell, so I can press X. That's going to remove it and proceed with X all the way to the bottom until we get to the end of the data set. So just a couple keyboard shortcuts for you to play around with as you're adding cells. The more that you can uh, learn to rely on the keyboard instead of the toolbar in here, the quicker your operations will be. So as soon as you're familiar with uh, playing around with these keyboard shortcuts and deleting and adding cells, and as well executing them, of course, with the Shift plus Enter command, uh, you're all ready to start uh, getting the best and most efficient use out of your Jupyter Notebook environment.